Hello, and I'm here reviewing A Dog Named Boo by Lisa J. Edwards. I give this book a 3 out of 5 stars, meaning that I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Um, and that's simply because the writing style just wasn't really for me a whole lot. But, on the other hand, the reason that I did like it was because the author has so much courage to write about her own life. And I think that's the thing that really sets this book apart, is because it's true. But we're used to reading fiction or fantasy, stuff that's not real. And, you know, there the author risks her ideas, but in this, the author risked her entire life because we really get to know her through the book, and it's, it's amazing what all she was able to put in there. And it's amazing what she does with her dogs. Um, I do think that she, um... I believe that she is a very driven person to do animal visits and things like that. Like, I think she's very, very driven. And it's, um, it's just, it's, it's a very hard book to read and not get emotional. And at the same time, the writing is not, you know, um, it's not what you're used to. That's the point. It's not what you're used to. Like, it took me a while to read this book, and it's because I wasn't used to the, the writing style. Um, most modern fantasy fiction writers today, they don't use um, this type of style, like where it jumps back and forth through different periods of time. And then, you know, it's always, well, I learned this, and I learned this. And I think that was another thing, another thing that, like, it kind of got on my nerves was this book was so repetitive I mean it just repeats the same themes and ideas over and over and over and I'm like okay you said it stop go on to something else but the book itself is really really beautiful I think if she had went about organizing the events in the order that they happened and not all this flashback and, and I actually like like flashbacks but not like this much like it was kind of it got in the way of the reading experience um but like if it was just you know here and there and not like all over throughout the book I think it would have done a lot better like you know I think it should have been brief bam I'm off of it bam I'm on it bam I'm off of it I don't, but I don't want it so many times in the book. Like, three or four times? Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. But going chronological. Chronological. Way. I think it would have been even better if she had talked about her life before she got Boo. And led up to how she got him. And it kind of flowed that way, but at the same time, like, it was, it was a little choppy. And the main focus of the story is supposed to be Boo, but at other points, like, other characters come in and it just kind of muddles it along. And I don't know, I, I just, I liked it, but I didn't love it. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't know what else to say. It was the style for me. The style was just not for me. But I liked it, so I like the truth of it. Like, it's very true. It's very raw. It's not very sifted refined it's it's blunt honest and raw so if you like that kind of writing like this would be a really really awesome book but for me I like refined perfectly uh, collected material I don't like um I guess it's I guess it would be the difference like if you wanted a sweater like wool is homemade it's real it's there whereas i would prefer synthetic because it's smoother it's just two different preferences and that's just the way i felt about this book now that i've had a break from the mermaid theme for a while i'm going back to the mermaid books 
So my next review will be on The Mermaid's Mirror. So like, comment, and subscribe, and hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm getting another Amazon order together, and I'm kind of selecting books that I want to go on there, and hopefully we'll be reading The Cat Daddy by Jackson Galaxy, the host of My Cat from Hell. So hopefully we're going to read that soon-ish, like within a few months. I have like... I have like 14 books that I need to read right now, so, but like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon with The Mermaid's Mirror.